Hello, I'm Carrie, and today we're going to pose the question, what's next for Degrassi as a show and as a franchise? Now, season four of Next Class is available on Netflix worldwide and through Family Channel in Canada, and a lot of people have finished watching the full season already, but now people are concerned because we haven't heard anything about season five. Normally, Degrassi film seasons during the summer, but it's July and they're not filming at all, so naturally people are panicking saying, oh no, Degrassi isn't following their normal schedule, so it must have gotten canceled. And everyone's bugging the cast and crew asking all of these questions, knowing damn well that they're not going to be able to answer you, because if something is happening behind the scenes, they aren't allowed to tell you. So let me make it very easy on you. Degrassi isn't dead until one of the Degrassi execs comes out and says that the show is dead. It really is that simple. Um, back when Degrassi got Quotey Fingers canceled in 2015, everyone at Degrassi was radio silent for the first bit while all of us on the internet freaked out because they already knew about the Netflix deal. So why is there this silence now going into season five? Well, first of all, one thing you should know, if Degrassi were to not be renewed by Netflix, that doesn't mean that the show is automatically done because... Uh, Degrassi is owned by DHX Media up in Canada. And if DHX wants to keep Degrassi bad enough, they're big enough to figure out a way to distribute the show outside of Canada. And also, if there was a cancellation notice prior to season four, I'm fairly certain they would have announced that to the world because, you know, that kind of announcement, like we saw with the announcement at the end of season 14, that's going to get more eyeballs onto the final season anyway. Number two, Degrassi's pretty routine when it comes to their production. So if there is a holdup in production, then you can safely assume there's something going on with DHX Media or Netflix uh, stepping in for some technical reason. And number three, I've said this multiple times that we're at a major turning point for Degrassi as a show. Literally half of the cast left the show at the end of season four, and Degrassi is tasked with rebuilding the cast for the long term, hence the reason they were auditioning for actors 13 to 14 years old. And some of those new characters have got to be able to make an immediate impact. While everyone's sitting around freaking out over the lack of season five news, there's actually never been a better time for Degrassi to make some big changes to the show, whether it's character types or my personal request, which would be to finally make the jump to hour long episodes. Even though the 30 minute format is probably one of the reasons why this show's been able to survive for so long. Personally, I'm not worried that Degrassi might get canceled now. I can't foresee them just randomly taking Degrassi out like this. And the show has eight gazillion lives anyway. What I'm more worried about is that a delay in producing episodes means there's a chance we don't get episodes in January like we're used to, which means we could be facing a very lengthy hiatus. And you know how it goes during these hiatuses. Fans not really having a reason to be actively engaged with the Degrassi brand for such a long period of time, that just makes me very nervous. But for now, I don't see why there's any reason to hit the panic button as of yet. And that's going to do it for this video. Leave your thoughts in the comments section below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel right here, Degrassi Corner, because, you know, with a lack of Season 5 news, you might want to stay updated and... That's what we do here, keep you up to date on all of the latest information on Degrassi Next Class.